Jones and Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, we have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most professional type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. We talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag off bar here. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it then. Yes. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Nurmagomedov's looking for an arm bar here. He is no one-trick pony. He's a tech arm bar now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. there by John Jones. We'll see the extent to which he can follow it up here. He's landing in bunches tonight. You know, this guy's from a great fighting family, right? A professional football players, both of his brothers. Big athletic father. He had so many different reasons why John Jones is the guy that he is today. Somehow stays in the fight. John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Huge block there. That is. Oh, man. This dude is good. It's a big knee. All right, single collar tie now. So just over. Yeah, looks a little longer on the sweep. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar. Just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is... Nurmago Medov's going for the sub here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. 
It's in there deep. There you go. advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You gotta shrimp. You gotta get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job, Binder Mago Metal. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Mago Metal. Whoa! He's working. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you've got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Push the arm to the side. Get his head against the neck. Nicely done. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Metal. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Round two underway. Rich advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Single collar tie now. That couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar that tie. That's how you scramble, folks. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing at a pretty good clip here tonight. 58% the accuracy rate against John Jones. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Taken down now by Nurmagomedov. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jones. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Down strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Right, let's take a look back. advantage there with that punch, DC. Jones gets touched by that kick there. Punch is blocked. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Somewhere. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and combination. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, big knee! Back to the feet! Straight punch lands. And they set. Continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, close guard now. He's got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermako Meta. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Good work 
Good from the top here by Jones. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react to it. Pretty good right hand. So he's landed some good shots. He hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Johnny Bone. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Johnny Bone. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like... Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. Oh, now he's in trouble. So the fight is now underway on one side for the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. With. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy was oh, a nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. Looks like he'll change the stance. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Got to be careful, Armbar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tap 
been out tonight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure fur. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. One minute to go in the round. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, the beat of the night You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. So now he lands early on the hands off. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Continues to mix it up going. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. That would land clean. Oh, he just heard him. He just heard him. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Looks like it did start him a little bit. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedowns with him, and he finally has secured it. He a needs to move. Better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, side control now. Jones has passed attempt denied. Reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Both fighters get up now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary level change. Leg finish takedown. Great job. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's, it's tight. Wow. Now it's his mouth. Well, he's got his back now. Under a minute now to go. seconds to go in round two. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Throws the right hand there. Oh, how about the speed on that 
reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice punch there by Yamako. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the setup punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So officially 63 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And connected. So try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. While working pretty effectively from the top Check here. The nice ground and pound. Where he slug the leg back in the middle. Now he's going to try to roll for a knee bar. Oh, wow. Oh! He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You gotta shrimp. You gotta get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Useful strike on the ground, that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. And they both stand up. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the field. I'm not the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only as a first striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets the ball, it's hurt. He knows where to find the spot in their night. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Habib Nurmagomedov. Oh, big elbow. Now 
much behind the takedown offering there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm telling you one thing, it does not feel good. Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He gets to his spot, the tie point. Then he starts to let the knees fall. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Nurmago Medov's got the full mouth. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick, man. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly. Raining down punches here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. So just over 20 total strikes are now landed for Khabib Magomedov. Shot a double leg. Oh, he slams his opponent down. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Jones. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, he's attacking choke now. No, actually, oh. he's close to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, that kick is good by Nermago Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick ball. Don't call him a one-trick ball. Not because he isn't. Because the ladder is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. Trying to set up a submission now. Attacking on bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle.
there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Real sneaky body kick. Jones gets kicked to the body again. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Three minutes to go in the round. Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. This sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him up and just go for the pin. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him try to submit his opponent in the previous round. Had one attempt. We'll see if there's more where that came from in this next round. He will throw multiple attempts at you. He will continue to throw things against the wall until something sticks. Look for more submission. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Jones. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And the accuracy rate 57% above the UFC average. That's been a big story of this fight tonight against him. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the back. What a great job timing that kick. Driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, 
Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Takedown, no problem. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch DC. Oh! Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, collar tie. Good double leg shot. Oh, slams his opponent to the ground. All right, round three coming up next. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. 51 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jr. And landing with 53% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Nervago Medov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, in the day. that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and that was a violent tap there. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the... is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he 
he is one to be shooting into a guy that... Oh, nice job. And then the takedown scramble to his feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Leon Belly, big strikes, landing here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Guillotine attempt. Now looks as though he's got the neck. As guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. <laughs> oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Jones is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. <laughs> the ground and pound has been there all night. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He's having his way with him here. <laughs> Under a minute to go in our opening round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe let it all hang out. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones. And Fabi Nurmagomedov. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. So 31 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Well, the accuracy rate. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high ball. Oh! Takes it forward high. What a fantastic takedown. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. And this might just be a matter of time. 
side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hand stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Medos passes Denot. Twenty seconds to go. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. striking like that. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Takedown defense holds up. Shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So six oh, total strikes. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got that one appeared to stun him. Oh, oh big left. Oh no! Back to the feet. Double leg shot. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. From there as yeah, he gets it got done it. by the submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time.
So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out.